Well, as we begin here, get yourself situated in your chair or in your bed or lying down on the earth, wherever you have chosen to be, whatever position is most comfortable for you. We'll be in this space for between 25 and 30 minutes, roughly. So finding a space that that feels really good in your body, that feels really supported and really comfortable so that you can be in this space for a prolonged period of time. And yet, not so comfortable that you're going to fall asleep and if you do fall asleep that's okay too um, you may want to use some blankets or some pillows or cushions um, i also recommend if you have an eye mask or an eye pillow to use that just to um, just to remove the sense of light completely, just to kind of eliminate that and take that out so that you can be even more tuned into not just the sound of my voice, but tuned into your own body and tuned into your own journey. I will be guiding us through a journey today you will travel on that journey wherever you are meant to go. So the more senses that we can remove from you, the more heightened and the deeper this journey can be for you. So getting yourself situated. If you need to move around and adjust and wiggle yourself, do that now. And then I invite you with your hands to place your palms on top of your knees, either cupping your knees, placing those palms face down, just not grabbing the knees, but just loosely draping the, the palms over the knees, just using the knees as a resting point, almost like a holder for your palms. And that will allow you to root in and to ground in a little deeper. And if you're wanting to be in a receiving mode this morning, if, you, if your body's not feeling the need for grounding, you can turn your palms face up, so resting the backs of your hands on top of your knees, and your palms can face the sky. And wherever you have chosen to land with your body, begin to close down your eyes if they're not already closed. Even if you're um, wearing a, an eye mask or have an eye pillow, I still invite you to keep the eyes closed. And then begin to tune in to your breath. We'll spend a few minutes slowing our breath down and really taking note of where our breath is. And then we'll begin our journey. And then at some point through our journey, my voice will trail off and there will be silence for roughly five-ish minutes. Time really will mean nothing to you when you're in this space, but just giving you an idea of where we're going. And then, and then I'll slowly bring you back and then guide you back into your body and back into So as you tune in here, seal up your lips and take in a slow and deep inhale through your nose, slowly sipping the air in all the way up and in. Briefly pause when you get to the top, holding without breath. 
then part your lips open and begin to slowly exhale, really controlling the air as it leaves your body. Exhaling, releasing the air as slowly as your body will allow. And then as you get towards the bottom of your exhale, really press that navel in towards the back of your spine to really force all of that air out of your body. And once you're completely empty, pause briefly and then seal your lips back up and slowly inhale through your nose. Slowly begin to sip in the air, slowly bringing it up through your nostrils, bringing it all the way in, filling your whole body up. Once you're completely full and you can't breathe in any more air, slightly pause at the top of your inhale Part your lips open and begin to slowly exhale, releasing the air out of your mouth, slowly letting the air come out, slowly, slowly releasing, pressing that navel back into your spine so all the air comes up and out. Once all of the air is completely out, pause without breath and then seal the lips up and begin to slowly take that inhale back up, up and in through your nose. And this time when you reach the top of your inhale, pause without breath. And now you're going to release your exhales through your nose as well. So when you're ready, begin to slowly exhale, releasing through your nose, slowly making your exhale even slower than your inhale. Slowly letting this air come out of your body if it's in your practice, ignite the ujjayi breath. So making slight constrictions with the muscles at the back of your neck, making sounds like ocean waves as you exhale. So pause for a moment at the bottom and then take in a slow and deep inhale through your nose. See if you can make this inhale, inhale even slower than the one before really slowing the inhale down. When you reach the top of your inhale, pause without breath, and then see if you can sip in one more bit of air. Pause again without breath, and then slowly begin to release the air through your nose, exhaling even slower than your inhale. Really slowing down the release of the breath, feeling all of your air come up and out of your body. Feeling the air come around you, surrounding where you're sitting. Continue breathing like this. Continue placing your awareness on your breath. Continue to feel your inhales get slower with each one. And continue to feel your exhales get even slower each time you release that air. As you inhale, allow your belly to release and to relax allowing all those muscles to just let go so that your belly can completely expand as you send all of the air down to the bottom of your belly, allowing the belly to float open and expand like a balloon. And then expand that chest, allowing the ribs and the lungs to completely 
completely fill and expand, allowing your chest to get bigger, allowing yourself, your body to feel all of the air filling up your body. And then as you exhale, slowly feel the air leaving your body. Feel your body contract back into itself. Feel your belly sink back in. That belly drops down towards your spine. The chest and the lungs come into the center line and drop down to the spine. It's almost like if you see pictures or videos of a heart beating, when the heart beats, it gets really big, it, it gets larger, it expands. And then when that heartbeat and that pause in that moment where the heartbeat's coming back into the body, the heart contracts, the heart sinks back into itself. And then the heart beats again and it gets bigger. It's like you're, it's like what is happening now with your breath is exactly what happens inside your body with your heart. So as you breathe, your upper body, your chest, your torso, your belly, everything expands open and that heart beats. And then when that heart falls away and that pause of no beat, just like your breath, as your breath is leaving your body, you're coming back into yourself, just like the heart comes back into itself. So feeling your whole body tune into your heart, connecting with that heartbeat. Your whole body becomes the heart. Your whole body is the heartbeat. Everything body is working in grand unison it's all coming together and so we're slowing down slowing down the pace of our breath we're slowing down our central nervous system we're slowing down the beating of our heart we're giving our body a well-deserved break space by just taking everything out and giving our body that permission to slow down. Wherever you are in your breath, I want you to release all of your air out. So emptying your body completely. Once you've done that, take in a slow and deep inhale through your nose. Take it all the way in, all the way in, all the way in. Pause briefly when you reach the top of your inhale. And then slowly exhale through your nose, letting all the air releasing everything from your body. Once you have completely emptied, I want you to shift your awareness and focus solely on the sound of my voice, allowing your breath to fall into a natural rhythm. The hope here is that we've slowed the breath down enough that our natural rhythm of our breath will be slowed down significantly. There's no need to control the breath any longer. Just allow that breath to do what it does. Allow the breath to naturally flow in and out of your body. Allow that breath to naturally sink up and connect in with your heart and with everything that's happening with it. Taking your awareness now to the sound of my voice, I want you to shift your gaze 
easier. Your inner gaze, we're not opening our eyes, we're just taking our inner gaze and we're looking through the backs of our eyelids. We're looking through, maybe up just a little bit. The gaze is coming to that space between our eyebrows as if this space is a movie screen as if this space is the movie theater. We have arrived here in this space to watch on a screen, to watch the display. And as we navigate this journey, keeping that focus, that inner gaze on this space, and just observing yourself on this journey, observing any images that show up and observe any feelings in your body that rise to the surface as you watch this navigated journey. So as we begin this journey, It's as if someone picked you up off of your chair that you're sitting on and just carried you over and gently dropped you into this forest. You're standing on a trail beneath your feet is some loose ground, some some wood chips scattered about the trail. And you can see that there is a trail defined ahead of you as you look ahead of you. But all around you, there are really tall and green trees. some steps forward, going deeper into the forest, and just looking around and being in this state of wonder. You have no idea where you are. You have no idea where you're going. You're just wandering. You're taking it all in. You can see the sun shining through the trees. Every once in a while, the rays of sunshine float in and kiss your face. And it feels so tender and loving and warm. And there are so many sounds that you hear as you take this journey through the forest. You can hear different types of birds chirping. You can hear some of the birds singing their beautiful songs. You can hear some birds squawking as if they're yelling at some of the other birds. They're having a heated conversation. And then other birds are just floating through the air, floating through the sky, being silent being quiet, just being their beautiful bird self. And then you can hear larger animals, maybe some squirrels and some bunnies, maybe even some deer, maybe even a fox, just some smaller animals that are walking through the forest with you. You hear them in the distance. You don't necessarily see them and you can hear the crunching of the leaves and the natural debris that's on the floor of the forest. You can hear their footsteps. You know that there's animals there, but you can't see them. And that's fine. You just be 
welcome in the nature that you are surrounded by. You continue to walk through this forest, looking to your right and then looking to your left, taking in all of the sounds, taking in all of the trees and the beauty, feeling the warmth of the sun as it occasionally peeks through and makes its way to you. And as you continue walking here, right up ahead of you, you can see a big, wide, open space. And from this spot, you can't really tell what it is. You can't really see what is up ahead. You can just see that there's open space. There's no trees clumped together. And so you begin to wander in that direction, just wandering because you're curious. You're curious what it is. You're curious what holds that space. You're curious what is in this space where there's no trees because you're completely surrounded by trees. So you begin to wander and walk up ahead. And as you arrive at this space, you see that it's a big crater just this big empty open hole and as you look inside the crater you can't even see the bottom there is no end there's dirt lined up all around it's just this big open circle of space if you happened to step into the space you have, have no idea imagine that it would feel like you were dropping into the dark abyss because there is no ending to this deep space. And you stand over this crater and you just admire how this even came to be because as you look around the circle, you see this perfect line of trees all around the circle, perfectly lined up right at the edge, almost as if the trees were created as some type of fence or barrier for the crater. And there's this one small little opening, which happens to be where you're standing. And there's this beautiful wooden platform at this opening that allows you to go and walk out and sit just above the crater. You give this some thought because it feels a little risky to take a leap out there because there's nothing below this piece of wood. So you stand on the edge of the wood that's connected to the earth, that's connected firmly, that you feel confident in. And you look out over this huge, vast crater of nothingness, and you decide, yeah, this is where I'm going to go. I'm going to go walk and sit up there. So you take some steps, and you begin to walk forward on this plank of wood. As you arrive towards the end of the plank of wood, you decide that you need to take a break and sit down and have some space to yourself while you're in the forest. So you sit down on this edge of wood, your feet dangle over the side, dangling over the, create, the crater. As you look down, you just continue to see this vast open space that appears to lead to nothing. You know it leads somewhere, 
but it leads somewhere that you're unable to see. And so you decide here that you're going to take a few moments to yourself. You're going to close down your eyes and you're just going to sit and you're going to be as you listen to the beautiful sounds of birds, as you feel the sun occasionally shining down on your face, as you listen to the gentle breezes whisper through the leaves of the trees, you listen to the music that nature has created for you sit with yourself and you ask yourself the question, where does this lead me to? Where is this leading me to?
taking that question and placing that question in your heart as you begin to open your eyes and look over that crater that you're sitting above and you just continue to sit and wander as you look deep into this empty space of nothing that seems to lead to nowhere. Wondering again to yourself, where does this lead me to? You begin to sit back and then slowly stand back up this wooden platform and you begin to walk back towards the edge, towards the trail in the forest. As you arrive to the end of the platform and step back down onto the trail that leads you through the forest, you take a moment and you turn to look back towards the open, empty crater. Looking back once again, seeing that big open space, the big, empty, open space. You offer gratitude for this opportunity, for this space, for this question, where does this lead me to? And then you slowly begin to turn around and continue to meander on the trail through the forest. You continue to tune back in to the sounds of the birds, to the sounds of the leaves on the trees, into the sounds of all the animals that are with you in nature in this forest. Feeling the rays of sunshine that occasionally beat upon your face. And as you continue to wander and look around the forest, Wondering about, wondering where you're going. Where does this lead me to? And once again, find yourself back in your home, in your chair. You begin to tune back into your body. your breath, placing your awareness back on your breath, feeling the inhales come into your body, feeling the exhales leave your body, not controlling the breath, just simply observing the breath, observing your body, breathing, Observing your body working, coming back into the sensations, feeling into your body, doing a full body scan starting from the crown of your head, working your way down through your neck and your chest, your belly, your hands, your arms, your hips, your torso, your legs all the way down to your nose, feeling any sensations that have been created in your body. And then you gently begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, just gently and slowly adding some movements back in.
deepening your breath here, deepening your awareness of your body, of your breath, fully coming back into the room that you're sitting in. Keeping the eyes closed down. And then whenever you feel ready, slowly part your eyelids, part your eyelids open, keeping that gaze just over the tip of your nose so that your gaze is straight in front of you. Slowly letting your eyes adjust, just letting in a little bit of light. Feels like a lot to take in right so just allowing a little bit of time for your eyes to come back and then whenever you feel ready to move forward just slowly open those eyes a little more inviting in more of your space inviting in more of your body maybe looking down at your hands and knees and then whenever you Thank you.